You may remember from our previous videos that the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed some amazing discoveries that have amazed and puzzled scientists. But after analyzing more data, researchers found that almost 90% of the galaxies in the early universe had extremely bright gas clouds that outshone the stars within them. This discovery could help solve a mystery that threatens to break cosmology, which is how the universe became transparent to light after the Dark Ages. In this video, I will show you how the James Webb Space Telescope made this stunning discovery, what it means for our understanding of the early universe and the formation of the first stars and galaxies, and what are the future prospects and challenges of Webb and the early universe research. So, stay tuned and get ready to explore the wonders and mysteries of the cosmos. The James Webb used its near-infrared camera, NearCam, and near-infrared spectrograph, NearSpec, to observe 135 galaxies that existed when the universe was only about 2 billion years old. Using these instruments, it can see the infrared light that these galaxies emit, which is redshifted by the expansion of the universe. It can also measure the intensity and wavelength of the light, which tells us how bright and hot the gas clouds are. The study found that nearly 90% of the galaxies in the early universe had extremely bright gas clouds that outshone the stars within them. The gas clouds had a luminosity of about 10 to the power of 40 ergs per second, which is equivalent to the brightness of 10 billion suns. The gas clouds also had a temperature of about 10,000 kelvins, which is hotter than the surface of the sun. The study also found that the brightness and temperature of the gas clouds correlated with the mass and star formation rate of the galaxies, meaning that the more massive and active the galaxies were, the brighter and hotter the gas clouds were. The discovery of the bright gas clouds reveals a new aspect of the early universe that was previously hidden from our view. It shows us how the first stars and galaxies influenced their surroundings and changed the state of the intergalactic medium. These bright gas clouds also provide us with a new way to study the early galaxies and their properties, such as their mass, size, shape, and composition. But how did the gas clouds become so bright and hot? And what does this have to do with the mystery of the rayonization of the universe? To answer these questions, we need to go back to the dark ages of the universe, when the first stars and galaxies were born. The rayonization of the universe is the process by which the neutral hydrogen gas that filled the universe after the Dark Ages was ionized by the radiation from the first stars and galaxies. This process made the universe transparent to light and allowed us to see the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the oldest light in the universe. The rayonization of the universe is a mystery that threatens to break cosmology because we do not know when, how, or from what sources it happened. The CMB measurements suggest that the rayonization of the universe was completed by the time the universe was about 800 million years old, but the observations of the early galaxies suggest that they were not enough to produce enough radiation to ionize the universe by that time. This discrepancy is known as the rayonization crisis, and it challenges our current models of the early universe and the formation of the first stars and galaxies. So the discovery of the bright gas clouds could help solve the mystery of the rayonization of the universe by providing a new source of radiation that could ionize the neutral hydrogen gas. These clouds are caused by the ionization of hydrogen atoms by the intense radiation from the young stars. This means that the bright gas clouds are also emitting radiation that could escape the galaxies and ionize the intergalactic medium. The study estimated that these clouds could contribute up to 20% of the total radiation budget for the rayonization of the universe, which could significantly reduce the gap between the CMB measurements and the observations of the early galaxies. But how can we be sure that the bright gas clouds are really responsible for the rayonization of the universe? And what are the limitations and challenges of the current study and the JWST observations? To answer these questions, we need to look at the future prospects and opportunities of the James Webb Space Telescope and early universe research. The current study and the James Webb observations are limited by the small sample size of the galaxies, the uncertainty of the measurements, 
and the complexity of the physical processes involved. The study only observed 135 galaxies, which is not enough to represent the diversity and evolution of the early galaxies. The measurements of the brightness and temperature of the gas clouds are affected by the noise and calibration of the instruments and the assumptions and models of the data analysis. The physical processes that govern the formation and emission of the gas clouds are not fully understood, and they depend on many factors, such as the metallicity, density, and geometry of the gas, and the feedback and escape of the radiation from the stars. James Webb and the early universe research have a bright future ahead as they will continue to explore and reveal the secrets of the cosmos. Webb will observe more galaxies in the early universe and with higher resolution and sensitivity, which will improve the quality and quantity of the data and the findings. It will also observe other aspects of the early universe, such as the first black holes, the first supernovae, and the first gravitational waves. The early universe research will also benefit from the collaboration and complementarity of the James Webb with other telescopes and missions, such as the Hubble Space Telescope, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, and the Square Kilometer Array. They will also advance our theoretical and computational models of the early universe and the formation of the first stars and galaxies, which will help us interpret and explain the observations and the discoveries. But why should we care about the early universe and the formation of the first stars and galaxies? And what are the implications and significance of this discovery for our understanding of the cosmos and our place in it? First stars and galaxies are the origins of everything we see and know today. They are the seeds of the cosmic structure and evolution, and they are the sources of the chemical elements and the radiation that shape the universe. They are also the clues to the fundamental physics and the mysteries of the cosmos, such as the nature of dark matter, dark energy, and gravity. This discovery is significant for our understanding of the cosmos and our place in it, because it shows us how the early universe was different from the present one and how it changed over time. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos on astronomy and cosmology. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this discovery and the JWST and the early universe research. Until next time, keep looking up at the sky and keep asking questions.